This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple line art style logo using any image, uh, any raster photograph similar to what you see here. And in today's tutorial the, the example I'm going to use is the image of a ship or a sailboat. So if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial please download the image. The link is in the description and once you have that downloaded we'll be good to get started. And at any point in this tutorial, you could look down at the bottom left hand side of the page to see which keystrokes and mouse clicks I'm using. So with that being said, I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to minimize Inkscape and I'm going to take this uh, image right here, ship.png. I'm just going to click and drag that into Inkscape and click OK. Make sure you have Embed selected. Click OK. We can maximize the window and we'll be good to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open up, uh, well first we'll go to view, make sure you have custom selected, and then we're going to zoom in at one to one. And I'm going to press down on the mouse wheel just to pan the page just to make sure we're all centered up here. And then we're going to open up the align and distribute, uh, not the align and distribute, the edit object colors, gradings, and stroke menu with this button right here. And I'm going to take the opacity of that and I'm going to drop that in half because we're going to need to be able to see, maybe a little less than half because we're going to be, we're going to need to be able to see what we're drawing on top of this. So once we have this set, we're going to go over to the Bezier pen and we're going to have the uh, create rectangle, uh, regular Bezier path selected and from the shape drop down we're going to choose ellipse. And then we're going to start out over here at the left side of the ship, this left side right here. We're going to click once, take this line, bring it over to the end of the uh, ship right here and click again and press enter on the keyboard. And it's going to take an ellipse and stretch it out along that path. So the next thing we'll do is we'll go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool, click on that, and I'm going to grab this line and I'm just going to click and drag it down so it takes the shape of this. It takes the shape of the uh, the boat right here. Now the idea when you're doing this is to mainly outline the main borders and the distinct characteristics of whatever subject you're trying to draw. So in, in terms of this uh, sailboat, I'm going to just outline the boat itself and the actual sails. So with that being said, let's go back to the Bezier pen, click on that. I'm going to draw this bottom selection down here. I'll start right here. I'll click once and bring the line down here. Click again over here and click and right up here and click and press enter on the keyboard. And it's going to take that ellipse and stretch it out into the shape of that path we just drew. And what I'm going to do now is go to the edit paths by nodes tool just like we did previously. I'm going to grab this line and bring it in a little bit. And I'll take this line, I'll bring this up a little bit like that. And I'll take this one and I'll bring this out a little bit, just like that. So the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll draw this part of the sail right here. We'll go to the Bezier pen. And I'm going to start right here. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click, uh, I'm not going to click on the very corner of this sail because it's connected to the boat. We want to leave some space in there because when you're drawing a logo, it should be very, um, it should be spaced out so that when you scale it down to small sizes, it's still recognizable, still recognizable, and it doesn't all mash together as one image. So let's put that point about right there, and then put this right here, and click Enter. We go back to our Edit Paths by Nodes. Take this line, dip that in a little bit. Take this line, dip that out a little bit just like that and that's pretty good and then we'll go back to our Bezier pen and we'll do the next sail we'll click right here click about down here away from the edge of the ship right there and click right there and hit enter we'll go back to the edit paths by nodes let's take this line let's bring that in maybe about that much we'll take this line dip that out a little bit just like that and we'll go back to the Bezier pen, click on that. And I'm going to draw this next one starting here, and then here, and then here, and then finish it up down here. That's going to be a three point line right there. So once you get there, just hit enter on the keyboard. We go back to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. We can take this and bring this line in a little bit. And we'll take this line, bring that out a little bit. Take this one, dip it inwards just like that. And then we'll go back to our Bezier pen. We'll draw this sail now. Click here, click there, click there, and then finish it up right about there. We'll edit paths by nodes. Let's take that and 
dip this out a little bit. We'll dip this in and then pull that one up a little bit, just about there. And finally, I'm going to draw these three masts right here. So we'll go back to the Bezier pen. I'm just going to click there, bring the line down to about there, click again, hit enter. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other two. Hit enter, click there. I'm going to put this point between these two lines right here, about between there, just like that, hit enter. Now to give this a little bit of a whimsical characteristic, I'm going to go back to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool, and I'm going to click on each line. I'm going to just give it a little bit of a dip, just to give it a little bit of character, since we are drawing a logo here. Uh, kind of like that, and that should be pretty good. Then we can go back to our arrow, and then we can click on this image in the background and press Delete on the keyboard, because we don't need that anymore. And we've pretty much drawn the outline of this ship. But the problem we have now is that these lines are too small. By default, Inkscape's going to give you a specific size to work with. And we're going to have to be able to change the thickness of this. If you zoom out, you see that doesn't make a very good logo because it kind of disappears. It doesn't scale very well. So in order to fix that problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag over all of these. And in order to make the lines bigger, I'm going to scale the image down. And that makes the lines bigger. Now let me go back. If I scale the image up, it makes the line smaller. That's pretty much how this works. So uh, I'm gonna, since we want these lines to be thicker, I'm gonna hold Control and Shift and click and drag this in so the lines become thicker. Sort of like that. Uh, maybe a little more. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we can click off of it to deselect. And to zoom in, I'm gonna hold Control on the keyboard and roll up on the mouse wheel. Or you could just press plus and minus on your keyboard. And the problem we have now is some of these lines are thicker than the other. We want, uh, we want this to be consistent all around. Like for example, this line right here is thicker than this line. In order to remedy that, I'm going to make this line thicker to match this line. So I'm going to click on this bottom section right here, hold control and shift, and scale in on that. Maybe about that thick. And once you get it to a thickness that you like, you can finalize it by going to Path, Object to Path. Otherwise, when you go to scale it back up, it's going to become thinner, which we don't want. So we'll leave it right there. We'll go to Path, Object to Path, then hold Control and Shift, and then we can scale it back up, and the thickness remains the same. It now closely resembles the line on top of it. Speaking of which, I'm going to click on that line. Since I like the thickness of this one, I'm just going to go to Path, Object to Path to finalize that one. And then let's work on the sails a little bit. I don't like how these two are touching right here, so I'm going to just move this off a little bit. Maybe like that. And I'm gonna, I don't like how close this is to the boat right there, so I'm going to move that up a little bit. And these could be a little thicker. I like the thickness of these, but these two could be a little thicker. So I'm going to click on this one, hold Control and Shift, scale it down. Maybe about that much. That's pretty good. We'll go to Path, Object to Path. Hold Control and Shift, scale it back up. And I'm going to move this over a little bit so it isn't so close to the other sails. And we'll do the same thing with this one right here. Hold Control and Shift, scale it down. Maybe about that much. That might work. Let's go to Path, Object to Path. We can scale up. And I'd say that's pretty good. Now, finally, these masts right here, these are way too thick. We're going to want to increase, we're going to want to decrease the thickness of these a little bit. So I'm going to click on all of them. I'm going to click this first one and then hold shift and click on the other two so we could have all three selected at one time. And I'm going to hold control and I'm going to scale this up to about there. And right there, that's pretty good right there. And we can go to path, object to path, hold control and click and drag it down to its original size, but at a more reasonable thickness. We can press 1 on the keyboard to zoom out. We can click and drag over the entire thing and we can color it in however you like. Uh, maybe I'll give it some kind of shade like that. Blue color. Maybe something like that. Group it together by clicking the group button up here. And you could hold control and click and drag to scale it up. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can create a uh, like simple line art logo using Inkscape. Now, you could use this with any other type of image, whether it be a lion's head or a car or whatever. So that's how you can do that technique. And if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.